بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam I greet you all with the greeting of Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh like to welcome you all for a new segment concerning Wasaya al-Nabi The Advices of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam This is segment number 7 عن سعد ابن أبي وقاس رضي الله عنه قال أتى النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم رجل فقال يا رسول الله أوصني وأوجز فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم عليك بالإياس مما في أيدي الناس وإياك وما يعتذر من سعد ابن أبي وقاص may Allah be pleased with him said a man came to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and he said oh Prophet give me advice and make it short. The Prophet ﷺ told him, Give up hope in what the people possess and be careful of things which you have to apologize for it later. Alhamdulillah, indeed the Prophet had did it and did it directly to the point and short as the man asked him. The hadith shows us the concern of the Sahaba about seeking advice. The hadith shows us the patience of the Prophet wasallam. He didn't feel insulted when the man asked him to make it short. The Prophet wasallam is so humble easy going. The Prophet ﷺ advised this man that don't have hope in what people possess. Whatever people possess, they possess it because they want it, they like it, they love it, they stick to it, they don't want somebody to share it. This is nature of a human being. They don't like anybody to look at it or ask for it. So, give up hope in what the people own and possess. Don't wish for it. Don't ask for it. Don't try to seek it. The second advice, watch and be careful. Don't do things that later on you have to come and say, I'm sorry, or forgive me. So think before you take a step. Think about things that you have to apologize for it. So why you don't avoid it instead of apologizing later on? Indeed, it is a great advice and a short advice and so value. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all, the speaker and the listening, the listeners, to act upon this advice and to become part of our daily life. Until I see you again, I'm your host, Muhammad Adli. For m- more information about Islam, please visit adliunline.com. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.